What up, what the world? This your homeboy, Fro. I mean, Wordplay TJ, and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm going to show you how to claim your Google Knowledge Panel with their new system. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so I've been doing an experiment where I skip the intro a little bit more often, and uh, that's just kind of to shorten the time, make this a little bit more enjoyable, make this video quick, and uh, we can go to the next thing. So... Yeah, that's why I skipped the intro. Let's talk about Google Knowledge Panels. So what are they? Very simple, a Google Knowledge Panel is a collection of websites that Google organizes in a visual display for a certain public figure. So I happen to have a Google Knowledge Panel and it is chock full. It is set up all the way to the T. Um, claiming Google Knowledge Panel, so Google's spiders, crawl every site across the web looking for a site that mentions your name. When it finds that metadata, it uh, indexes it, and then they take every mention of you and put it together. So the more traffic the site gets that's relevant to the search, the more likely you are to get a Google Knowledge Panel. So as you can see here, my bio is indexed from my website and my website gets enough hits to be prioritized as the top site for me. And the same thing goes for my albums. So my albums are indexed from various music retailers, probably most likely YouTube because Google owns them. And my socials are indexed due to uh, traffic from those specific social media websites. Instagram's the top one because that's where I get most of my traffic. All right, so just a warning before we get into more of the specific content. This is not a tutorial for creating a Google Knowledge Panel. Do not ask me in the comments how to do it. I have a video on it. And that video is here. Four strategies for Google Knowledge Panels. So if you want that, that link is down in the description. I wanna go a step back. So Google knowledge panels are built on internet metadata and I tell people this same message all the time and I have it built into my phone just so I can type that message whenever this question comes up. You supply the information on a website, right? So you fill out all of that information on some website. It could be uh, your website, social media, YouTube, etc. Somebody else could fill out that information about you on a website as well, sort of like a press article. And then Google will verify that information based off of how many people search for your name on Google. And then once they tie the search to um, a website that is relevant for that search term, then they will um, make sure that it is accurate for that person that is searching it. So if somebody searches Wordplay TJ Music and then the Wordplay TJ's music is on Spotify, talking about myself in the third person here, um, then that Spotify link is very relevant to that search term and so they connect them together and then it gets indexed for my Google Knowledge Panel. So in order to claim a Google Knowledge Panel, you must be associated with the brand that you wanna claim. You're either that brand or your uh, management or some type of record label or some type of like basically official that connects to that brand. You gotta be somebody that represents that brand. So we're gonna claim the knowledge panel for DJ Centipede. By the way, DJ Centipede has a brand new single out called Put It In The Air. Garrett, can you drop that link down in the description so the people can check it out. So step one, claiming the Google knowledge panel. Be sure that you're logged into Google first. That may mean that you need a Gmail account or something like that. And then click claim this knowledge panel down at the bottom of the panel. You're gonna have to search for that name first though, and then click on claim that knowledge panel. Next up, click get verified, right? So on this page, simply click through to start the process. Make sure that you are signed into your Google account. Next, make sure you're the right person. So on this page, Google wants to know if you're authorized to work with this account and claim this brand. So 
to get verified, you want to make sure that, so is DJ Centipede the name of the person, organization, entity that you're trying to claim? Yes. And um, the most relevant option to you, are you the person on the knowledge panel or do you represent that person? So in my case, I represent DJ Centipede. So we're going to go through this process. All right. So tell them why that's just, this is step four. So tell them why you're claiming this knowledge panel. Um, it's your job to tell Google why you're claiming the panel and it must be a legitimate reason. So DJ Centipede is part of on map music group. That means that, you know, um, we're, we're making his, um, marketing and promotion a little bit more strong and I need access to that panel in order to do that. So step five, verify your identity. So there's two ways that you can do this. If you're the, the entity that is claiming the panel on behalf of someone else, then you'll have to up, upload a, like a business license or an agreement between you and that artist. Um, or that person, uh, or if you are actually that brand, then you have to upload a selfie with your ID. Um, the selfie with the ID is on both options, um, but the um, like the business license or agreement is an extra added step if you're not actually the person that owns the panel. Then you have to verify that you have control of this person's uh, accounts or this person, this brand's accounts, if you are not the actual uh, person on the knowledge panel. So to prove that, you can log into that brand's social media accounts or whatever access that you have. Um, each screenshot must show that you have uh, editing privileges. Each screenshot must include your entity's name. Files should be submitted in one of the following supported formats. So JPEG, PNG, PDF. So basically an image file in most cases, otherwise a PDF. So don't exceed the cumulative, what's wrong with that word? Cumulative file size of three megabytes. So each thing has to be about a megabyte. So you may choose to blank out sensitive information like logins, that type of thing. And that's it. Hopefully you can go out there and claim those Google knowledge panels. Um, speaking of getting your music out there and getting it heard, um, if you want to join Amazon Music Unlimited and listen to any song anywhere, then go ahead and click the link down in the description. Amazon Music Unlimited is a premium music subscription service featuring 70 million songs and thousands of expert program playlists and stations. With Amazon Music Unlimited, you can listen to any song anytime, anywhere on all of your devices. Um, and Alexa will be enabled with those devices and allow you to search via voice. So again, the link is down in the description to get three months free for Amazon Music Unlimited. So that's it. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. If this is your first time, and, and most likely it is your first time watching my videos, then go ahead and subscribe and then share this with somebody who might get something out of it. Watch all of my other videos to get more tips and tricks on music advice. This is your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right, so the video is over now, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about it, and then watch more videos about the same subject up here, and then another video that YouTube recommends down here. Peace.